Okay, guys, ready for video number two. Uh, this was the other question that I asked you, uh, the, which I forgot a question mark. No one called me on that. You should have, you should have told me. Okay, uh, the question was, what changes would you make to your school if you could? Now, something I haven't really talked about very much. Um, when you see words like would, of course, you know things like, would you open the door for me, please, right? But oftentimes we see the word would when we are talking about something that is unreal. It's imaginary. Um, same with this word could right here. Okay, so what changes would you make if you could? Let's be honest. Um, probably Mr. Sampson is not going to listen to any of us, including me, and he's probably not going to make any uh, big important changes to, to our school. Okay, this is all imaginary. Okay, it's like we're dreaming. Okay, so, so we're using would, would and could. Uh, because we're imagining what school could be like. Um, what would it be like if, if we only went to school four days a week instead of five, excuse me, five days a week? Would that be wonderful? I would like it, actually. What would it be like uh, if math were not required, if you didn't have to take math classes? Some of you would really like that. Some of you would not. Okay. What, what would it be like if the teacher spoke your language to you? and you didn't have to learn English. Would that be wonderful? Would that be terrible? Okay, so these are all changes. Okay, now, if you went with with what I came up with, that's great. If you came up with something different, that's okay as well. So this is what I um, provided for you, and I'm, I'm just going to go with this one. So if I could change my school, I would want healthier food in the cafeteria, and I would want more electives offered at school. And some of you, um, I'm, I'm not sure we understand what electives are. So electives are the the fun classes. Um, so th something like uh, like choir, like singing with with a lot of other people, right? That's an elective. Band is an elective. Uh, culinary, where you where you cook food, that's an elective. Uh, piano is an elective. Okay, so those aren't the the really difficult, rigorous classes. Those are the, the classes where you can get better at something, maybe learn learn a skill um, just for fun, okay? So I, I think these are both good, okay? Um, so let's, let's uh, go with it. So the first one is I would want healthier food in the cafeteria. I'm going to color that one. Uh, let's go with, let's go with purple. You like that one? Okay, so all right, so this is my topic sentence, and again, it's my, my two-part topic sentence, okay? Here, let me color this next one. What color should it be? Well, my favorite color is green, so let's go with green. You like that? Don't forget it's my favorite color. That'll be on a test someday. All right, so let's go. All right, so if I could change my school, I would want healthier food in the cafeteria. Let's talk about that. Okay, so I could say for, oops, sorry. First and foremost, I like first and foremost. Okay. Um, one of the, how about this? One of the biggest, remember one of the most, one of the nicest, one of the smartest, right? Um, is it singular or plural? It is plural, right? There are many problems at Cortez High School, right? But one of the biggest problems that, now I'm not going to say we, I'm going to say that students they look at the problems or they face the problems. So uh, one of the biggest problems that students face, what's my verb going to be? Well, it's one is, right? One of the biggest problems that students face is the unhealthy food in the cafeteria. Okay, this is where, where we are going to lie and lie and lie, okay? Um, so I like to use this word, unfortunately, when I have bad news. So unfortunately, so memorize this one. It's a good word to know. Unfortunately, uh, last year, my next door neighbor, is that okay? Let's give him, let's give him a name. How about Kevin? Okay. So I love a positive. Have you noticed? Unfortunately, last year, my next door neighbor, Kevin, uh, let's see. Instead of God, how about became, I'm going to teach you a new phrase, violently ill uh, after eating a salad 
in the cafeteria. How many days was he in the hospital, you ask? Six days? Does that sound good? Yeah, he was in the hospital for six days. Okay, is this not convincing? What, the, school, the, 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 the food in the cafeteria is so bad that a kid was in the hospital for six days? That's crazy. He, he was in the hospital for six days um, because of, now this is called food poisoning. If you don't know that, you can just say something else or because he was so sick, that's okay. But it's really called food poisoning. Okay, we know poison, right? Okay. Um, so what can we say? Well, now he has to bring his own lunch to school. Because, hey, that's a white bus, because he is afraid of getting sick again. Okay? Now, I can come up with another, uh, another example as well. Um, so I can say also, but in a, be a better word than also, additionally. Do you like additionally? I love it, Mr. Lang. Additionally, um, many students, let's use the present perfect, shall we, have become... Um, uh, overweight, obese, let's go with overweight because of the, um, the foods and drinks that are so high in sugar. Yes, Bob, Bob. Okay. So additionally, many students have become overweight because of the foods and drinks. So foods, when they, we use foods, plural, because there are many different kinds of foods. There are hamburgers, there are hot dogs, there are tacos, Taco Tuesday. Okay, and drinks, of course, the soda, right? They're so high in sugar. Did you know that people get fat because of sugar? It's true, okay? Okay. Um, oh, what happened? What happened? Let's fix that, okay. My sister, no, not Karen. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Karen. I, I didn't mean you. Um, Joni. Okay. Um, how much weight, weight did she gain? She gained uh, 25 pounds. Not 254 pounds, right? 25 pounds. What did I do? What did I do? There we go, I think. I don't know what I did here, but okay, she gained 25 pounds in one semester. Unhealthy, because of the unhealthy um, choices, or food choices in the cafeteria. Okay, so I'm not really using a quote here because I already have two, um, oh my gosh. All right, hang on a second. I'm going to try to fix what I've. I've lost everything. Hang on. Technical, technical difficulties. Here, let me just copy and paste all this. I'm sure there's a better way to do this, but I'm not the most. Uh, technical teacher you've ever met. I bet you Mr. Wright would come up with a better way to do this. He's so smart. Okay, let's see. Oh, it still says header. I really don't want the header. Okay. All right. Hopefully that won't happen again uh, because he is afraid of getting sick again. Additionally, many students have become... Um, oops. overweight because of the, what did we say? Unhealthy choices, right? In the cafeteria. All right, then what do we say? My, my, was it my neighbor? No, my sister. Uh, what are we naming her? I don't even remember. Let's name her Laura. Okay, hopefully that doesn't uh, offend anyone. My sister Laura gained 25 pounds I don't know how many libro, uh, how many uh, kil kilograms that is, but that's a lot. My sister Laura gained twenty five pounds um, in one semester because of the um, 
unhealthy uh, food and drink, foods and drinks in the cafeteria. Okay. So I've just given two examples, right? Kevin and Laura. So I can say students like Kevin and Laura would agree that the um, the students at our school deserve um, food choices that won't send them to the hospital. them to gain too much weight. Do you like it? No, Mr. Lang, I love it. Thank you, Mr. Lang. Okay, let's keep going. So actually, I didn't do a quote here. I just uh, I just told the story. Okay. Um, okay, so let me color this one. I thought I colored it before, but well, that's all right. Okay, so now we're, we're going with green. Okay. So I really... I did this in the last one. I really like the word besides. So besides um, better food choices, students at my school uh, deserve more elective class choices. Okay. Now, one thing that we can do is, is talk about a different school. You might have friends that go to different schools and they get to learn um, exciting things that, that just aren't uh, offered here at Cortez. So for example, I know of some schools that offer photography. Wouldn't it be fun to learn um, how to take better pictures, how to develop pictures, right? Um, so we could, we could make that an, an example, okay? Can you think of some other uh, uh, fun electives? I think, I, I think it would be great if uh, there were more languages offered. So I don't know if you know this, but for the students that already speak English, the only choices they have are, are Spanish and French. Oh, wouldn't it be great if uh, if they could learn Mandarin or Japanese or um, or Arabic, right? Or of course Swahili, right? I think that would be great. So let's talk about a couple of these things, right? So I can say, unfortunately. Many students um, are not satisfied with the the small or the short list of choices for elective classes. Um, we could say at Cortez or at my school. Either one is fine. I think I would go with at my school because it doesn't actually mention Cortez in the in the prompt. Okay. Uh, my friend, oops, spell friend correctly, Mr. Lang. There we go. My friend, let's give him a name. How about Nathaniel? I like that name. Um, used to attend my school. And he is so glad that he left. Oh, this will get everyone's attention. Because at his current school... He is allowed to take classes that are so interesting to him. This year, he is taking, let's go with photography. And what else do we say? How about Japanese? We'll go with Japanese. Not to Miss Rika, okay? Okay. Uh, what did we call him? Nathan, right? Nathan, I don't know. We know exclamation point. So he exclaims. That means he's so excited about it. All right. How about he? I feel sorry for people at your school. They don't get to take fun elective classes like I do. By the way, I don't believe this. I mean, you guys have culinary of piano. My goodness. Guitar. My goodness, you guys have a lot of choices, so don't don't take this seriously, okay? 
They don't get to take fun of it. And don't leave Cortez, okay? Just just stay here. I like you. I just don't want to teach you next year, okay? No offense. I feel sorry for people at your school. They don't get to take fun electives like I do. Um, I will have so many. We love this word opportunities in my life because of the fun and exciting Maybe job opportunities. I will have many job opportunities in my life because of the fun and exciting elective classes I am taking. Okay, so we can even say, hey, the school is great, but it would be better if we had more choices. So here, let's, let's use a white bus. So even though um, students at my school do have several elective choices. I do we know this word definitely? I definitely believe that more choices would make this school much better. Okay, I think I've exhausted my um, my examples. I think this is a pretty long paragraph. Should we finish here? Say no. No, Mr. Lang, we need the conclusion, all right? So we're going to do our, our cito, so clearly, indeed, truly, obviously. Now I'm going to teach you another one, because I think you're ready for it, okay? This is for my Spanish-speaking friends. You have, uh, I'm going to say this badly, but you have you have this uh, phrase, sin duda, sin is without, duda, duda, I'm saying it wrong, I'm sure, it is a doubt. So without a doubt, um, our, our, uh, our good school would be even better if, let me go back to purple. If we had better um, food choices or food and drink choices in the cafeteria and oh steak um, if we had more elective classes to choose from okay and there we go that is all we need to say all right, I'm going to stop here, and I hope you learned something.